I'm doing a challenge for myself, an exercise challenge to fundamentally actually work out <laughs> and not just go to the gym, take a shower, which is what I've been doing for the last week. I've been feeling really bored with workouts and so it's very unmotivating. So I decided to try out an app, it's Aptive or something, and it's you get seven free day trial. So I'm gonna try that out. It's $99 a year, which is a lot all at once, but over you know each month it's less $10, so that seems fairly reasonable. And it has audio workouts. And so that's one of the things, a lot of these apps are all video workouts. And I don't wanna look at my phone when I'm working out, it makes it really logistically odd. So this is an audio workout. So I have my headphones on, my Bluetooth headphones on. I like over ear headphones. I use fairly cheap ones. <laughs> I was on the elliptical and I actually had it all the way up to 10. And like, I really worked out harder in those 15 minutes than I normally do. So that was very good. So I'm gonna try this out for a week and see they also have like stretches and breathing and meditation and stuff and yoga and all kinds of different things that you can do. It's for home workouts and gym. It's an outside too. Um, they're like, do you want to run or outside? Do you want to run tremble? I'm like, no. <laughs> I like to hike, not to run. I did. I ran a marathon years ago and that was enough. I did it. I'm done with that. I ran track in high school too. So like I have done a lot of running. I don't know. Unless a bear's chasing me, I'm not running. And actually a bear chases you, you shouldn't run. So anyway, I feel really good about that. And I also like feel good in my body having done a like kind of a more real workout and getting my heart rate really up. So I think that was very positive. So that's what I'm gonna be doing is working out every day fundamentally. Oh, the other thing I did was I put on my workout clothes and slept in them. I put them on last night and slept in them. Lowers the resistance to working out because I'm like, oh, I'm already wearing the clothes. Might as well work out. All right, so I'm actually gonna be going over to Panera Bread to get a 50% off bagel. <laughs> and my free coffee, not free. Well, actually it is free because the first two months of the unlimited thing is free. So I'm very excited about that. I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna do work there for a while. And then I, uh, the other challenge I'm doing is a 10 by 10. Let's get this gosh darn thing done. I was actually gonna be going out of town and I just don't feel, I don't want to, is the, for, the short version of that. The trip I decided, I was like, I am not feeling excited about that trip. I don't feel like doing a lot of driving right now. I'm just gonna focus on life right now and get through getting my habits back up with exercising, working through these migraine problems that I've been having. I did try the Sumo Trip Chain yesterday. It did work. It made me feel weird, but it worked. And also getting that gosh darn 10 by 10 done. All right, so I'm off to Panera later. So I'm spending very small amounts of time in the 10 by 10. I just spent about half an hour, but I got through two huge boxes of two biggest bins and I separated out a good two thirds or more of the stuff into get rid of. And I would say probably through force of it and to get rid of. So yeah, so already really good progress and that I'm letting myself like that's done for the day and I will come back. It's not about how much time I spent, it's about how much stuff I can get through. And getting through two huge bins, which are about the size of four banker's boxes and getting rid of three-fourths of it, excellent. Now I do need to remember to bring trash bags with me because right now it's just big giant piles, but that's probably totally fine. It was, I found so many pictures, pictures when I went to space camp, pictures from a kid being a kid. I mean, I had so much great stuff. And I also found pictures of my son and I found, I mean, just all kinds of neat things. Um, I also found like a whole bunch of journals that I had kept as an adult and I am not even looking in them. Like it is one thing to go back and I, I also found my diary from like little kid. That's cute and adorable, okay? That's different than a journal when I was an adult and I was going through a horrible time. 
I do not even want to look at that. Like that will just make me just bring up stuff that I actually don't really remember anymore. And there's no point in bringing it back up. And that's one of the principles. I did keep a bunch of awards from school because I actually feel very proud of those awards. However, I had a bunch of, of awards that, as an adult that weren't real awards. They were like marketing things. And I'm like, you know what? This is just yuck. I don't even want that. So it was very helpful when I'm thinking about looking at things, thinking about what things would I display even maybe versus things that there ain't no possible way, you know, things that I, I, I like there's a number of things that I'm keeping that there's reasons for it right and then there's all this stuff where I'm like nope never want to look at this again would never want anyone to see this not even in a funny ironic way I'm done with it so so I'm going to reward myself by going to Panera and getting something to eat and I have a whole bunch of work to do that I can't do because the library's internet's down and biz file for California is down. So I'm probably going to just be editing video the rest of the day. It is hard when you have a lot of stuff to do and you literally can't do it because somebody else's like system isn't working. But here we are. Good morning. Wow, it is foggy today. So weird for it to be foggy down here. Anyway, you don't see fog that much anymore. It used to be foggy a lot. The world has changed. So I did my workout this morning, day two of this workout challenge for myself. Man, I slept terribly last night. So I was awake in the middle of the night for like multiple hours. And I'm actually doing okay. It wasn't a migraine. Actually, I had a pain in my, my glands because I think I'm fighting off the cold that my son has when I went up to take help my son a couple days ago. Anyway, so I, I'm so far I'm feeling okay, knock on leather. So I still did a workout, just not the one that the app assigned me. The app assigned me like a strength workout with weights and it was at, you know, kind of a medium intensity. I'm like, nope, I'm doing low intensity today. So I changed to a different workout on the same app that was like a 17 minute walk intervals. And it was actually de designed to do it outside, but I did it on the treadmill cause like whatever. So I still did it, which is the important thing. And I think that's one of the things about stuff like this is like exercise is it's about the habit. And that even if you can't do hardly anything that day because you didn't sleep well, you're don't, you know, whatever, you're stressed out, you don't have a lot of time, doing literally anything keeps you in the habit. I mean, if, if I had felt worse, I might've gone on a treadmill for five minutes. You know what I mean? Like just something. And I think that's really the secret to these kinds of habits. All right, I'm going to drink my coffee and eat my breakfast later. Yeah, well, so I'm so tired from not sleeping well last night. Uh, it's actually weird to be tired and not have a migraine and have it be something else, you know? But anyway, I'm letting myself stay here at the park and be lounging. I will do some work and everything, but like, I feel so tired, like physically tired that I'm just like, not going to push it by going anywhere. So I've eaten lunch and everything, and I'm now just going to be here at the park, do a bit of work, do a bit of napping, most likely, etc. And I think it's really important to always make sure you have balance like that. You know, like right now I'm doing this exercise challenge. I did exercise this morning, a minimal walking exercise, but it was something. It is important to make sure to get enough rest in. I think when you are traveling, living in a vehicle, going on vacation, hiking, camping, doing all these things, it's very easy to accidentally overextend yourself. Same thing with running a business. I mean, there's a lot of things that are kind of like almost 24 seven things and you can easily not take enough rest time. So that's what I'm doing today. Give myself a chance so I don't get sick. So I don't set up a migraine, any of those things. So wish me luck. Van Lifer. I will say, even though I have my exercise shorts already on, <laughs> I have the app telling me what I'm supposed to do or whatever. I still have, and I'm already here. I'm already coming to Planet Fitness to take a shower. I still have troubles getting motivated to actually do 
the exercise, uh, actually do a workout. And I think it's, it's a habit thing. Like once you've done something for a week, two weeks, three weeks, there's some time in there, then it's just a thing that you do and it doesn't take energy to do because you don't think about it, but I'm still the thinking about it part and it's still hard. I have, I changed my plan for the day in the little app to be a workout that is at low, like a beginner level and less than 15 minutes. <laughs> Like, you know what? That's the most I can do today. It's the most I can do. Now, one of the big things for me is their strength-based exercises are different. And what I typically have done, they're more like a routine as opposed to going in there and using weights for, you know, doing specific things with weights. They have like, you know, it's a 10 or 15 minute or 20 minute or 30 minute, like a uh, entire routine where you do certain things for certain amounts of time, almost cardio-ish but it's, it is using mostly body weight with some dumbbells or 100% body weight is, are these ones. Now they have other ones too, using kettlebells and all kinds of other things. I, I didn't select any of that stuff yet. So I'm just going to go in and try this. And that's what I'm saying to myself is I'm not committing to do this particular exact exercise for the rest of my life. Just going in there to try to get this to be normal, knowing that it's more awkward the first time. And a lot of the reasons it's awkward is because Planet Fitness around here, they're very small because, you know, land and space is just expensive. And Planet Fitness is a very inexpensive place. So they don't have the cash to make big, huge things in places where it's really expensive for big, huge things. And there's not a lot of floor space. There's a guy who does jump rope and there's like literally one place to do jump rope. And it's very awkward. So like, what I mean is like, there's a lot of awkwardness there because there's really not enough space. So wish me luck. All right, so that was a good workout. Not because it was some like super intense workout, but because I did it. I did literally a workout that was like, when you don't want to do workouts, do this. So it actually was a lot faster with a person coaching and the music playing and all that stuff. Like that is very helpful. I'm really glad I did that. I also did a little stretching thing. So, so yeah, three for three. Not that it has to be a streak, that has to be perfect, but the idea is to build up a routine, build up a habit. Hey, so I wanted to talk a little bit about kind of the rule of threes for goals, projects, to do's, whatever you want to talk about it. Whenever you're Folk trying to focus on something, whether it's starting a new habit, whether it's a big work project, whether it's cleaning out your garage, whatever. I find that in any particular day, week, month, I can only really have three things that I'm trying to put energy in. That I'm not talking about all your daily things that you already put energy in in the past and now you're just kind of, I don't know, maintaining it. I'm talking about the things that are either new or one time or take a lot of energy to do or whatever it is. So right now, it my things are getting a workout routine where I'm working out every day and getting that habit turned back on again. Once it's turned back on, I won't need to focus on it anymore, but it's I'm still, <laughs> still needing to focus. 10 by 10, which that will be one that top three list until it's done. And then the other one is just client work. So I'm focusing on client work, but I actually am switching that over. I just kind of finished up that focusing on client work and now I'm actually focusing back on this channel. Not that I'm not still doing client work, but I actually got a huge amount of client work done and stuff filed at the end of last week. And so now I'm that's kind of going to maintenance level and now the, my third thing is this channel. And I have a whole bunch of video that I'm editing and newer stuff I'm recording, different kinds of videos so it's not just vlogs, et cetera. And I think that's a really important thing that, that works for me and it has worked for me for, I don't know, <laughs> decades or something. But thinking about what, how much energy do you have and how many things are already on your list? Like when my son was little, my son was one of the things of that list because having a baby takes this huge amount of energy, like take, cause you have to do literally everything for this person, right? And so th if that's one of the things on your list, then you're not going to have, be able to have three things because one of them is already taken. Or if you have really big deal medical problems, like there've been times where 
dealing with migraines or dealing with, I was newly diagnosed with diabetes or whatever, that was one of my things. So I had less energy for other personal projects, work projects, whatever. You know, we only have so much mental energy, literal energy for so many things. And it's very important to be realistic about that. So you don't kind of defeat yourself before you start. So yeah, so right now I can say I finish up that all that client work really it's getting the exercise routine started back up again cleaning out the 10 by 10 and then working on this channel i'm going to give you a quick little report about migraines that i got the sumatriptan from the the doctor the prescription that i got for migraines took it over the weekend when i went to see my son and i had woken up kind of migrainey worked so that is awesome i felt very weird <laughs> but it worked good job paying all kinds of stuff and so far i've been okay even though it's hot today today is the first of the two day heat wave two days isn't too long it is actually still in the 80s even though the sunset has set but i it should cool down pretty quickly that's one nice thing about it being 90 degrees in october is that the sun sets at like six something, like 6.30, I think. So that means that it cools off pretty quick. But it's very good news that that was helpful because every time I can catch a migraine, if I catch it on day one, I may not have a migraine on day two, three, or four. So very good. But that was just the first one. So we'll see how it goes. Good morning. So it is after seven. I slept all the way till almost seven o'clock this morning so late for me so late but not actually late just sleeping in so it's oh it's so great i feel so rested i actually was woken up by two guys speaking spanish really loudly outside my car not about my car they were speaking to each other and did not realize i was sleeping in a car which says something good about me being stuck i think they were people who had parked on that street to go to this big giant construction site because there's always people parking there to go to that site and they probably were gonna you know they probably just got there and were having their conversation because the site starts at at 7 a.m so it is the sun has is about ready to rise probably in the next five minutes and i am on my way to go to the gym today is a cardio day and the nice part is i actually have the energy where I feel like, yes, I can go in and do a good cardio workout. I wore my workout shorts to, to bed last night, had a workout shirt ready to put on. As soon as I got up, I just wear my little tank top to sleep in. So I'm ready to go in that sense. The one thing that I haven't been doing lately that I used to do is make up my bag for the gym before I go to bed. So I used to, in the summer, stay at the park. I used to go back to the park and be at the park and that would be the last place I would go to the bathroom because the park is open till sunset. And during the summer, sunset is, you know, 8.30 or whatever, right? And so that worked out really well. And at the park, it there was not that many people there at that time of night. So I would, you know, go back to my, do stuff in my car and organize things, including packing my bag for the next day. And I did that every day. Now, typically, so it's obviously going to be nighttime much earlier. I will be in various different parking lots. Typically, a lot of times I'll start out in the library parking lot. Library doesn't close till 7 p.m. And then I'll go somewhere else where I'm going to go to the bathroom. Now, I go to the bathroom a lot of different places. Sometimes I go to Panera. I, I eat in the evening, go to Panera Bread. Sometimes I'll go to Target. I may go into Home Depot. I may go to a home shopping center. There's a bunch of different places. I'm going to be someone's house. But a lot of times I'm just in a random parking lot. And while I will go get some in my trunk, I don't think there's anything weird about that. It's not the time where I'm gonna like organize my car. That is not very stealth at all. So, especially because I go back to the same parking lots over and over again. So I don't wanna be super obvious. I, tip, I park in very different spots, but I am out of the habit of that. I don't know if I'm gonna get back into that habit because one of the other issues is packing my bag the night before requires knowing what the weather's going to be and I like to do it close to that day because I want to be have accurate clothes 
but the reports seem to be not the best. You'd think that the, the day before they, you, they would know pretty well, but not always. Now today it is going to be 97 degrees, which means it's probably going to be 100. And, but tomorrow it's going to be in the 80s, but we'll see. It might still be hot. Anyway, that makes it a little bit harder when I go work out. But the thing is, the biggest part about working out is being in the workout clothes. I'm finding that that's a really, really good habit for me to be in when I'm in town and I'm gonna be going to work out, just sleeping in the clothes that I'm gonna work out in because then I'm already ready and it's one less thing I have to do, one less thing I have to pack. Makes it so much more simple. And yes, I do have to pack my bag once I get to the gym, but that doesn't actually, I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. But yeah, I feel very good about myself and I'm already starting to feel like this is normal to work out and that's the big thing is it needs to just not feel like an effort. It needs to just be part of the routine this normal thing that I do and then I don't have to kind of make myself do it because I just do it like brushing your teeth. I didn't blow dry my hair today because it's going to be 97 degrees so I want all the coolness I can get but yeah that was so good so good 30 minutes on the elliptical I don't I haven't done that since I was in my 20s so yeah so far I'm really liking doing it using an app to an audio app to motivate you to get me to do harder workouts and I think that's the biggest thing I don't have to think about what I'm doing and I actually push a whole lot harder and go for longer so we'll see but so far so good so I have very much been glad that I have been working out but I am sore I am sore in my abs I'm sore in like the high part of my chest. Like some, that workout I did yesterday, the strength workout that was like the easy 17 minute or something like that workout must have worked out different muscles than I had been. Because, oh my goodness, like here on top of my high chest muscles, which I'm assuming is from all the push-ups, planks and things like that we, we did. And then and my abs and the thing is i actually thought my core was in really good shape because of all just the moving around that i do and it is in better shape than it was when i lived in an apartment but obviously not as good of a shape as it could be because doing all i mean i did we did you know crunches and leg lifts and superman like a lot of core work and yep i'm feeling it today so even though it was a short workout definitely got my muscles going. Since I started doing harder cardio this week, I'm actually wondering if the reason I've been having triple hiking isn't just the elevation. It's actually that my cardio needs to be higher up. I was actually just looking on a website where you can calculate out what incline a treadmill needs to be at to simulate the and how long you need to go walk on it to simulate hiking what certain elevation gains. And it was making me think, yeah, like I need to be doing, whether it's treadmill or doing elliptical at a steep incline and to really get my heart rate up at a walking level. Cause the thing is, I don't really want to be running. It's hard on my knees and also I hate it. So <laughs> to get my heart rate up and really do a good cardio workout, then doing it things at a very high incline level, I, it really gets up there and also doing it for longer times. So, you know, doing it that hard of a workout, hard for me at for 30 minutes, as opposed to just doing it for shorter periods of time. Now, before this, I, before I lived in my car, I used to go for a 30 minute walk every day, but it was like one hill, you know, so it really wasn't pushing it that hard versus spending most of the time doing uh on some kind of an incline uh so yeah i wonder if that's a big part of it yeah so i uh, worked out today did a a strength exercise i'm really back and forth about the app for the strength thing so i really like it for the cardio i am working out harder on cardio than i ever have the strength things, they're really cardio routines that have weights or weight bearing things. They're not meant to actually build up strength you know, like in, in muscle, like you're not getting progressing to harder weights. You're doing many, many, many reps 
as opposed to high waist with a few reps, which is kind of more of my thing. So I haven't decided about that. One way I could approach that is using the app for cardio days and, and then doing my own thing for strength, but then would I actually do it? But right now, I'm just gonna stick with the app, but I may end up doing something else in the future, you know, having maybe, maybe even like two days a week where I do my own strength routine where I use heavier weights. So the other thing that I've realized is that I actually need to eat more food. I'm doing harder workouts and so I'm hungrier which is nothing wrong with that, and, but I need to eat a bit more for breakfast. So I'm, you know, adding in some more things that I eat in the morning. So I'm not starving uh, after I eat. The, I might eat before I work out, which is kind of a weird idea for me because I would normally have not done that. But I did that on the very first day just because, I don't know why, I think I was just really hungry or something like that and I had ate a bar. So maybe, maybe, I mean, classically, that's a way to become nauseous, but I don't know. So that's something I might try, but, but yeah, I need to eat a bit more food at breakfast time after I work out because I'm just doing harder workouts. Hey y'all, so it is Saturday morning, day six, five, six of my workout challenge to myself to work out every day using this new app. And it was like a recovery day. So I did a walk on the treadmill that was kind of one of these interval walks. So you regular walk and then power walk. <laughs> it was good. I actually needed a recovery day. My I have sore muscles from the stuff that I've been doing. So it was good to have a, a day to recover. The gym is really nice on the weekends because it's not busy. So tomorrow I am planning to do a strength thing because one of the big reasons I kind of want Sunday to be my big strength day of the week because it's the least busy morning at Planet Fitness. So I can actually have room. There's a lot of days where it's actually di very difficult to find room over in the weights area, in the free weights area. So anyway, yeah, I'm feeling, it, it, I actually was looking forward to this workout. Last night and this morning, I was looking forward to it, not dreading it or making myself do it because it actually makes me feel good emotionally and physically. So. Yay! Hey y'all, so day seven of my challenge to myself, I was successful. Yay, Elizabeth! So I think having the app was very helpful because it made me work out harder. It actually had variety with different kinds of exercises and things I was doing. There's actually some things that I had never done before. So it's always good to learn like new, new things and new ideas for exercising. It was really helpful to just have something kind of assigned to me. Now I did get to pick from a list, you know, so it's like, oh, today you're doing cardio and here's five different things, and which was very helpful because they'd be ones that would be, you know, 15 minutes, another one's 35 minutes, you know, it just depends on, and then there'll be ones that are intensity two or intensity three or intensity four. So you can kind of see what you're up for that day. But yeah, very, very helpful. I really like it overall. So I'm not canceling it before the free trial is over. It also was very helpful for me to put on the shorts to sleep in. So that way I'm already in my workout clothes and not have to get changed at the gym, you know? So I get completely dressed in workout clothes before I go in. That helped kind of lower the resistance because I'm already, already ready. But now it's actually like the, here, there were the, there was a big thing that needed to shift. Number one, I need to be excited about exercising again and not be like dreading it. And now I am. Now I am like feeling like I'm making progress and and it's interesting and I'm doing different things, even at a gym, which is a fairly boring kind of a workout compared to, you know, hiking or, or something that is much more fun, I think. But it actually was enjoyable. I And the second thing, so I'm looking forward to it. You know, I'm not dreading it, having to force myself to go. The second thing is it's become normal, you know, and... For some people, they would need a lot longer time for something to become normal for a habit. For some people, they need a lot less. My son, ugh, my son can make a habit in like two days. <laughs> Maybe that's just the kind of person that they are. But for me, it takes a, takes close to a week and then this is my new normal. This is how it is. I've been like this forever kind of thing. So that was really good. And I think the third thing is it, I remember, I'm remembering now how it helps me feel better mentally, 
Um, it, I, I'm looking at my to-do list and I'm like, yes, I already got done. You know, the first thing on my list for the day, it makes me feel better mentally from the perspective. I don't know. I just feel better. You know what I mean? Uh, I also think I feel better physically. So yeah, very happy. Good success on this week's challenge to myself. Next week, give you a little preview. It's finishing cleaning out the 10 by 10 and getting rid of my other storage room so that I only have one storage room because it's ridiculous to have two storage rooms. So next week, that's going to be the focus of the week. Number one thing. Will I keep exercising? Yeah, yeah. Now it's a habit. So now it doesn't have to be a focus. Now it doesn't have to be even on the regular to-do list. Now it's just on my little habit list. I'm going to show you I have my little habits that are in my organizer. So in my organizer, I have a habit tracker that I cross things off. And these are things that I'm not like that. I do want to check and make sure that I do and track, but they're not like, they don't need to be the focus of the week. No, I mean, sometimes I do because I'm not doing them, which is what I have to do with exercise. So my habits are exercise, take my allergy meds in the morning, vitamins, do my financials every day. I do money stuff every day, except for the days I don't <laughs> take my allergy stuff in the evening and take my prescription medication also in the evening. And that's mostly just so I can check them off each day and make sure that I do them. I, I haven't really had a problem taking my prescriptions, but sometimes taking my allergy medicines, I'll forget. Typically it's because I forgot to get the refill or, you know, something like that. And vitamins, I just needed to get back into the habit of it and for some for a while I wasn't taking them and there was no good reason you know but I just need to get back into it so anyway very good now exercising every day at the gym is a habit also one of the great things about the app too is you can do things like yoga or walking as an exercise so like it gives you day for recovering or every day if you feel not up to it that is an option too when that's what I did yesterday was doing a walk so that was really good all right talk to you next week bye